Welcome to our channel and welcome to yoga with Lynn and Leo. This is the first day of 19 days of yoga. As you can see in the video, Leo in the purple, Lynn in the white. Leo will be showing some of the poses with the prop work. Starting for our first pose, Adha Mukha Svanasana. If you're practicing classically, lie flat, otherwise come from a kneeling position. Be in the pose. If you find it's quite difficult, the hamstrings are tight, hips are stiff, then just have a look at the video and see how Leo is approaching the forward and back action several times just to get a little bit more mobility. Keep the legs absolutely strong and straight. Coming out of the pose, look forward, either step or jump the legs towards the hands. Coming for Uttanasana, with the outer edges of the feet to the outer edges of the mat. If you find that the floor is a little too far away, then use a couple of yoga bricks to place your palms. Keep the legs lifting up, pull up all four corners of the knees and keep the legs strong. We're coming back into Adha Mukha Svanasana, dog head down. Either step or jump the legs into the pose. As you can see here, Leo again is trying to get mobility by moving the body forward and back. If you can practice the classic pose, then see if you can move your chest towards your thighs. To come out of the pose, look forward. Jump or step the legs back for Uttanasana. And again, if the floor is too far away, then place a couple of bricks underneath the palms. To come out of the pose, lift up through the legs, take a breath in and extend up into Tadasana. Be in mountain pose. Take the weight right back into the heels and pull up through the thighs. Roll the shoulders back and down. We're coming down to floor level. So preparing for Upavista Kanasana. This is when we take the feet far apart. As you can see here, Leo is organising her equipment, sitting on two foam pads and having two belts. Lynn is sitting in the classical pose, grounding down with the backs of the legs. To get this leg action, it's really important that the muscle fibres extend. You can work towards this action by using the belts, as seen in the video, around each foot and then pull to create that lift through the centre of the body. So holding on to those belts if that's the way you're practising and get the action of lift as well as extending those muscle fibres in the legs. Learning these extensions you will find as you work towards the classic pose that the extended leg will be on the floor with no air gaps between the back of the leg and the floor itself. Keep practicing this action. Bring the legs towards one another, coming up into a standing position. We're coming for a wide-legged forward bend action. It's very important in this pose that you use the legs and you keep the spine straight. If it's difficult to hinge forward and maintain that, then take a couple of yoga bricks and place your hands onto the bricks. You can take the floor level quite high and gradually work turning the bricks so that you come down onto the lower level. If you have the flexibility and you can take the head a little bit further, and the hands between the feet, then press strongly through the legs. Be sure you're lifting through the front thigh and lifting the lower abdomen towards the spine. To come out of the pose, be strong in the legs, look forward and keep the spine straight. On an inhalation, walk those hands forward and either pivot the feet or jump the legs together. Stand in Tadasana. We're coming for our lateral poses. Take the fingers to the chest, 
jump the legs wide. Coming for Trikonasana, turn your left foot in, your right foot out. Keep the legs straight and strong, hinge over to your right. Take your hand to the outer shin, or if you're flexible, take the hand to the floor. If your shoulders are stiff, have a look at Leo's variations. You can roll the shoulder or take the arm through the front motion to go up into the upward action. Take a few deeper breaths. Keep the legs strong and straight. Ground down into that back leg as you come up into a standing position. Coming for the left side, right foot in, left foot out. Keep the legs strong and straight. Hinge over to your left side. Keep the back leg working strongly. Ground down with the outer foot bone and pull up through the front thighs. Extend the arms up towards the ceiling. Keep the elongation of the trunk, taking the front body to the back body. Keep the breath smooth and even as you come up out of the pose, turning the feet, softening the knees and jumping the legs back. Stand in Tadasana. Standing nice and tall, recover for a moment or two. We're coming for Dandasana. This is a seated position. Be seated on your mat with your legs out in front. As you can see here for Leo, Leo is sitting on a couple of foam pads and a brick behind. If you find it hard to keep your spine upright, then use some support. Keep the legs grounded. Be sure that you're extending into the heels. Bend your left leg. We're coming from Marishyasana 1. Reach back with your right hand and reach up with your left. Extend through the side body as you take the arm in front of the thigh. This is a twist in action. Use the upper arm and the thigh to get a little bit more action. If you're able to catch, then see that you hold on to the hands behind the back. Otherwise, use the props. Take your hand to a brick. Extend the spine in an upward direction. Keep your right leg absolutely straight and strong. Releasing out of the pose, coming back to Dandasana. Sitting nice and tall as you bend your right leg, extending the right arm up. Hook the arm again. Use the upper arm against the inner thigh to get that extra lift. And again, if you find that you have that agility and you're fairly flexible, hold on to the fingers or the wrist behind. Be sure that you're keeping that straight leg absolutely straight and strong. As you're in this pose, try to extend and ascend your spine. Soft inhalation and exhalation. Come back to Dandasana. Roll your shoulders back and down and keep the lift throughout the front body. Our next pose is going to be Virasana. This is a kneeling position. If it's difficult to do the classic pose, which is quite often the case when you first start yoga, then use the foam pads. As you can see here, Leo's got two foam pads. You may need to build up the seat a little more. Be sure that the feet are facing directly back. And if you're using the foam pads, then grip them with the size of the feet. Place the palms onto the heels and the fingers towards the toes. If all of this action is very difficult, there's difficulty in the knees, difficulty in the thighs, then come for the next action by sitting on a chair or standing in Tadasana. As you can see here, Leo has a belt. We're coming for Gumukhasana. Reach the back of the palm between the shoulder blades. If you find it difficult, then use the opposite hand to help with the elbow 
to extend in this action. Raise up with your right arm and catch both hands together. If this is difficult, use your belt. If you're using a chair, then sit upright. If you're using a belt on a chair, then grab the belt. See that you are extending up in Gumakasana, keeping the chest lifted. Keeping the elbows reaching away from one another. Extend throughout the whole of the front of the body. Release out of the pose. Coming for the other side. Again, place the palm between the shoulder blades. Catch hold of the belt and extend the left arm up this time. Reaching up as much as you can and then bend in the elbow. Catch either the belt or the fingers. Again, keep ascending the spine, lifting up through the chest. Keep the broadness across the collarbones and be aware of pressing down into the base. Soft inhalation, soft exhalation. Keep the elbows moving away from one another. Again, ascend through the spine. Become aware of the action in the shoulders. Keep the outer shoulder rolling back. Preparing to come out of the pose, releasing the hands. Sit with the legs straight out in front of you. Extend into the heels and ground down with your thighs. Ascend your spine. And again, if this is difficult, sit on a couple of foam pads. We're coming for Supta Baddha Konasana. If you find Supta Baddha Konasana quite challenging, then use a bolster underneath the feet. As you can see here for Lynn, Lynn is covering the classic pose, taking hold of the front of the ankles. Hold on to the front of the ankles to then come into the pose. You may have to lift the back of the pelvis slightly to get the full action. Be patient with this action. If you're struggling with coming into the classic pose, then follow the modification with the props as Leo is showing in the video. Take the soles of the feet together and come into your supine action. This is a good way to work passively on the inner groins, the inner leg groins and the body groins. See that you start to relax around the abdominal area and then scan the body. If this is difficult pose for you, then you can use support underneath the thighs, maybe a rolled blanket or a couple of foam pads. Let the facial features soften. Let the outer shoulders release to the floor. Keep the shoulder blades moving towards the back waist. This is an ideal position to gradually passively open the stiffnesses within the hips. Let the breath be smooth and even. Let the abdomen slowly release towards the spine side. Take this opportunity to release the nervous system. It may take a little while, particularly if you're in the classic position and this pose is fairly new to you. Just let the breath ease any tensions. Soft inhalation, soft exhalation. Whilst you're in this pose, Start to acknowledge any tightness within the body and just breathe into those areas, slowly releasing. Coming out of this pose by bringing the legs together, the thighs together. We're coming for Shavasana. Start with the legs bent if you're in the classic position. If you're practicing with props, and you feel you need a little bit more support, then have the bolster ready 
for the back of the thighs. Have a blanket for the head. If you're in the classic position, keep the knees bent for a little while. Just let the abdomen completely soften. And then with resistance, start to extend the heels away from you. And finally, the feet out to the outer edges. Just be aware of the feet rolling away from one another, the inner thighs releasing, moving from the inner thigh to the outer thigh. Relax the abdomen, relax the outer shoulders and be sure that the arms are turning so that the palms are facing up towards the ceiling. Let the throat be soft, let the facial features release. Release around the hairline, between the eyebrows. Let the eyes slowly release back into the body. Any thoughts that come into the head, slowly dissolve with the breath. A soft inhalation and exhalation. Let the throat soften. Be aware of the dynamic action of the breath. As you breathe in, the ribs expanding and broadening. If you'd like to stay here for a little longer, then please do. We're coming out of the video now. So if you're joining us, roll to your right side. Sit up into a seated position. Be there for a few moments before you finish your practice. Namaste.